like, sub, share, speak. Let's have a conversation about representation, okay? Because every group, everybody, everyone and their mother wants to be represented. You want to have representation. Well, guys... Let me tell you something. Between the years of 1994 to 1999, I myself was, what, 13? Between, I was, from the time I was 13 to 18, this gentleman right here was on TV every week as J.C. Williams on the show New York Undercover, all right? And it, it was uh, different. Not, you no know, Danny Glover or, you know, Carl Williams, you know, your, your dad. Nah, he wasn't your dad. He, he was, he, he was, uh, it was representation. This is a brother that was a good cop, you know, doing his thing in, in, in hard streets in New York. It was a good show. I enjoyed the hell out of that damn show. The Him, uh, Michael DeLorenzo, uh, what's her name, Lauren something? Lauren Velez, yeah, you know, back when she was actually fine, like super fine before she got that mom body. <laughs> like, I mean, don't get it twisted, Lauren Velez could still catch it, but not the way she would have caught it back in the 90s, bro. Like, Lauren Velez used to be fantastic. But anyways, I am digressing. This breaks the heart. Like, guys, if you really want representation, you got to think the long game. Because here we are, they, what, 30 years later, damn near, and coming to us from BET Empire star New York undercover star thank you very much Malik Yoba reveals he is a man who loves trans women aka he's a man who loves men okay this dude is you know I don't even want to sit there and say oh yeah you want some G shit I think he's a pan I think he I, like I think when you're willing to like you know be intimate with any and everything which I believe at least in my mind, I categorize the same sex as like, like, look, if I'm willing to bang a dude, I'm willing to bang a toaster, you know, <laughs> so thusly, <laughs> so thusly, like, you know, I mean, then like, if I'm willing to bang a dude, bestiality is not off the table, you know, <laughs> hey there, Mr. Ed, what's poppin', my dude, you see what I'm saying, so like, nah, I'm a height. But it is heartbreaking stuff. And you sitting there talking about, oh, I want my representation. Well, look where your representation can land you. The actor dispels myths about uh, straight and transgender love. Myths? Nah, bro. <laughs> These are not myths. These are sincere, I, like, uh, at least from my angle, mental issues. Like, like, Or, hey, if it's what you like, it's what you like. But don't sit here and pretend like, oh, yeah, the rest of us have to enjoy this. Malik Yoba is coming out as a straight man who's attracted to women, or a gay man, and or bisexual, whatever, and that he doesn't differentiate between cisgender and transgender women. Now, if you are of the uninitiated, cisgender is just a straight dude, transgender woman is a dude, okay? Cis, like, cisgender is, how do I put it, cisgender is just your biological sex. That's it. We've, we solved these problems way back in the day <laughs> like seriously a transgender woman is a dude okay like make no mistake that's ridiculous in an instagram post the actor who you will recognize from his long stints on new york undercover empire and some of your favorite tyler perry movies shares really what was it? I'm, you know he wasn't something i just can't recall what it was uh, shares his thoughts about love and attraction, dispelling a number of myths and biases in the process. No, just putting his business out there. He ain't dispelling no myths because these things aren't myths. Our society is determined. You're like none of us get here without heteronormative, as in, in in your words, without the straight people. So to sit here and be like, oh yeah, these are all myths. Like yo, come on, yo, seriously, seriously. I love all women and count myself among those that can find themselves trans attracted and I too have felt the self-imposed shame that comes with this with, with that truth. But it's time to speak up. He captioned under a video of men bullying a man who said he has sex with trans women. He has sex with dudes. It's not about it's not about genitalia or sex. It's actually totally about that. But about attraction to the soul and humanity of an individual. Let me tell you something. Two of my best friends in the world are dudes. No. Gross. <laughs> One of my best friends in the world as well. My third best friend is a female. And you know what? No. Gross. Like. <laughs> <But> anyways. 
<laughs> that man is Maurice Reese Willoughby, a 20-year-old who recently killed himself via a drug overdose after his girlfriend left him. Yoba shared his story to begin his IG message. Okay, so here's the thing about suicide, and you may not agree with me on this, but life's hard, deal or dip, you know? I mean, respect, actually, because you went through with it. Congratulations. I mean, I'm gonna tough it out here, because it is what it is. When my creator is ready for me, my creator will, uh, will let me know. Attention all, attention black and all men, this is not okay. This video is another heartbreaking example of the homophobia, transphobia, hatred, and hypocrisy we as black folk, black men in particular, have to name, face, and call out, and do the work to hear, to heal. Nope. So you got this weirdo, because uh, I saw this video, um, or, uh, I saw this video earlier. Give it a V, you fuck what? You fuck what? Bro. Bro, you do what? See, that's the thing. I won't even be like, oh, like, I'll be like, what's on your face, my man? Like, clearly he banging dudes, yo. Like, for real. I mean, I, I, honestly, this does not surprise me that this gentleman was into banging dudes. That's thorough? Wait, that's not thorough? See, that's the thing. He said it was thorough, though. You know, I mean, I think that you're kind of missing the point of all this. He said it was thorough, and they're like, nah, that ain't thorough. <laughs> like, see, nobody attacking them for banging the dudes. Nobody saying they're wilding on them from banging the dudes. They just like, yo, that's not, that's not thorough. You sucking dick and all that. That's not thorough. Sucking dick and all that. He suck dick. Yeah. I mean, he just admitted to it. What is the problem here? I'm very confused. <laughs> like, if my, look, here's the thing. If, whatever you do on this earth, man, you got to do it. You got to go through it. You make your choices and honestly own them. If you can't own them, then dip like he did. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be mean or rude or anything else like that. You know what? Let's read what he has to say. His name was Maurice Rizwa, a 20-year-old baby. Baby? Baby who killed himself on a parent drug overdose. A 20-year-old baby? What? I, I believe I was looking at a grown-ass man with pubes and facial hair and a septum ring and pierced and, and pierce between his eye, between his eye. What? Clearly, as evidenced in this video, this young man was confident in his choice to love who he loved, but the... Un oh, what do you mean, loved? There's no love involved. It's just about getting your rocks off, family. What are you talking about? But the uninformed young men around them haven't been taught by us. That love is love and acceptance of trans love is okay. No, it's not. And bullying has nothing to do with masculinity or heterosexual behavior. Okay, yeah, they were just bull like bullies come with all sets of uh, with all sets of parts, you know. <laughs> so, golly, <sighs> I said this in the start of the um, what's what's uh the 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 Ryan Russell video? Like, look, it may just be something about having a man inside of you or being inside another man i don't know that really makes you super emotional and uh really not think clearly but yeah mr loba mr yoba definitely has a ton of that fun fact i actually um googled them before uh making a video because i wanted to like yo, yo, okay so like what's where's he from okay that yobo last name africa I, I fingers crossed no nope, he's american shit <laughs> he was born in the bronx shit you know <laughs> like damn oh man I gotta uh, i gotta own this one ultimately his mental and emotional health was not intact enough and his fragility of his life as he saw it was too much to bear oh well i'm sorry bye shoot this shit is hard enough Oftentimes, this type of shame and ridicule can lead to the murders of women of, of the trans experience. Not okay. Now, oftentimes, when trans women don't be telling people that they trans women and then like do the hookup thing, that's what be getting them um, sliced. The fact that he was trans attracted. Okay, so he making just the world out of all of this when in reality, yeah, he said it was thorough and they disagreed. <laughs> that's the, that's the uh that's the long and short of it he was like oh yes yeah, it's thorough to bang dudes when you would do it really isn't i'm sorry malik yoba damn man I, 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 I don't like me i ain't got heroes and i ain't played this nigga like a hero but it was cool watching him you know be try to be a good dad and uh, as well as a good cop and you know that was dope 
back then, but shit, live long enough to either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain, ain't, huh? Many are applauding Malik Yoba for bringing attention to an issue that has led harassment to even death of trans women and the men who love them. Hey, if you, if you off yourself, like, it's one thing, okay, so here's the deal, because I don't want to sound completely insensitive. I don't want you hurt. I don't want you hurting yourself. I don't want other people to hurt you. In that video, they didn't hurt that man at all. He said that he, he owned it, then he should have owned it. I mean, and who's to say that's like, I'm going to, you're sitting here telling me he died over, off an overdose and that, like, did he leave a letter? Cause I ain't hearing a word about, oh, he left this letter because, oh my goodness, I just cannot take this world anymore. I don't know. He didn't seem that articulate to me, but either ways, here's, uh, here's the, 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 the RuPaul crew coming on out. Dear King Malik Yoba, thank you so much for having the courage, strength to speak your truth. What I say about that, your truth bullshit. It's the... And so many other black men's truth with their attraction to trans women and the struggles you all have to deal with by drug lord Grelzilda. Shout out to Malik Yoba for putting it out there that he's attracted to trans women. Much respect. No, it has to be hard. He's not alone, though. Trans women are so damn beautiful. Ugh, Miss T. Franklin. Is that, is that supposed to be clever, Miss T? Hmm? Is that supposed to be clever? I guess that's it. <sighs> I freaking knew Malik Yoba was the ultimate supporter, but damn, someone needs to do an article on Malik Yoba just said, Malik Yoba, Malik Yoba, Malik Yoba, so that's where this article comes from. This article comes from that tweet. Where is it at? Someone needs to do an article on Malik Yoba just said. It's a long time coming, and so many high-profile men are attracted to trans women just like any other kind of woman. We need to get rid of the shame associated with loving us. It's time to speak up. Lives are at stake. Then do what you gotta do, my G. So apparently Tracy's the dude. Do what you got to do, bruh. <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's about, like, self-preservation and taking care of yourself. Personal, like, personal responsibility. You own it. And once again, those young men, they was they was clowning. But, shoot, he the one that sat, that, that sat there and said some bullshit. And what he said was, oh, yeah, it's thorough to bang, dude. It's, it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. No. No. Sorry, Malik. I'm sorry for what this has done to your legacy. But the long and short of it is that as a cis hetero uh, black man, there is no way in shit I'm about to sit here and allow you to speak for us as black men on this topic, man. Nah, family. Yeah, I don't think you, you, you ain't got that kind of clout anymore. Pulled this shit in 97. You know what? I bet, but <laughs> you pulled this shit 30 years later, nah, family, uh, sit your ass on down and just bang whatever dude you like banging, I ain't, I mean, no one's sitting here knocking you for it, but when you sit here and say, oh, yeah, well, black men are a problem, black men, um, we need to sit here and say, yeah, these, tra these, do these other black men who want to be chicks, sh like, oh, yeah, it's nothing wrong with banging, hell, yeah, it is, bruh. I'm sorry, brother. I really am, because I had higher hopes for you than this. But that's the thing about Hollywood. That's why I don't mess with these folks, man, because they all done had so much semen pumped up in them that <laughs> like, they ain't going to think straight. <laughs> and as a man, if semen is inside you anywhere other than your testicles, you, 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 you become feminine minded. Can you dig it? Like your, your wiring gets off. That's where our real research should be going. Anyways, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike. Yeah, go ahead and do that too. I ain't scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to hear uh, videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube. And I, I just got finished like saying how. <laughs> women are women and men are men i just got finished talking about reality so you know they ain't boosting me i, I could use a i could use a hand i ain't even gonna lie so i'd appreciate it and speak let me know what do you think in the comments i mean if you think i'm wrong by all means state your case tell me please how you know a man and a woman are the same thing and they're interchangeable and, and dudes can be chicks and chicks can be dudes and but uh, but you have to use biology ah yeah you gotta use biology you cannot use genderism because we don't play that game over here all right so with that being said till the next one